Madison Stewart again. Every day I'll hope. Star Susan Sexton. I tell you, she does not lack for ego by any stretch, but you've got to give credit where credit's due. She has faced any and all challengers and still wears that belt around her waist. Hey, when you're good, you're good. There's no doubt about it. She's the best. She's the champion. She is. She is a great, great wrestler. I've got to wonder if one of these days, though, that ego of hers may not get her in a little bit of trouble. She's a uh, pound for pound. She's one of the best ladies I've ever seen. Well, I'll tell you what, you can't sell Bambi short real quick. She goes for a roll-up. Superstar kicks her out after kind of one. Superstar is backing away. I think she realizes she may have a tiger by the tail. Well, she caught her off guard. Uh, Susan is walking around uh, with her nose in the air, and uh, Bambi went right after her. And that superstar now goes right through a headlock. One thing I enjoy watching Superstar, like you say, you, you, you just have to sit back like a fine piece of artwork to enjoy greatness. You can always tell she's holding a headlock now, but she knows what her next three or four moves are going to be. She's a chess player in there. She's the best. She really is. She's proved a lot of skeptics wrong when she was given the title. She is a very worthy champion, like her manner or not. She uh, tells her she's going to do something. She does it. She backs it up exactly. Still holding on to that front face lock now. She's gone around from the headlock. What? Bambi trying to work her way to her feet. Now she's in the bread basket. One thing about the superstar, she's so good looking. You think a woman that attractive would be so mean. Yeah, she is. Yeah, that's a real good point. A lot of times, because of her personality, her ego, her mannerisms, you forget she is very, very attractive. Yes, she is. And she hammers away at Bambi. Forearm. She's not going to move the referee out of the way. When she goes to work, she does it like that. She doesn't like anyone to interrupt her. And she was a drag, and Bambi comes back with two forearms of her own. And goes right to work on the champion of the crowd here. And Lopez Nevada loves it. Off the ropes comes the superstar. Another forearm to turn him. Bambi very quick on it, but only a count of one. She had her going there. She should have stayed on her. You know, Sarge, as she goes for her arm bar now, Superstar reminds me a little bit of an old, uh, not only adversary, but now friend of ours, four-time heavyweight champion Nick Bachman. Nick used to say, he could be sound asleep, somebody could come up and snap him out two times, and he'd get his shoulder up before the, the third. That's right. Ah, uh, Superstar has some trouble now about her only opportunity here, Sarge, is just to work her way to her feet, which is exactly what she's starting to do right now. Well, I think she's getting a little rest here, too. Bambi rolls it right over, try to go for almost the form of a sunset flip or a small package, but Superstar was in the ropes. Now, she could be well playing possum right now. You take a look. She did, her eyes never leave Bambi. She might be playing possum well. Exactly. The leg she was favoring, something that right to the midsection of Bambi now, raking across the eyes. She's a tough customer, that's for sure. Those eyes are rolling around in her head. You can probably pull our ears from that one. Black by the champion. And leg drop right across the throat again. Superstar always hooks the leg. Kind of do Bambi again. Kicks her out. Good to hook that leg because it makes your opponent have to push off harder, which takes air. Back body drop. Bambi with a leap drop. Superstar Sexton, everybody is aware you are the reigning LPWA oh, ladies right, champion. Right. 
doesn't it bother you that the great fans here at the Riverside Hotel and Casino show you no fan support? These fans here are morons. If you took the opinion of these creeps, you'd be able to get it with them. I am a supreme individual. I am a supreme wrestler. So I don't care what you think. I am the best. Recently, you were quoted in Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazine as saying you were the bloody champion, and there was nothing anybody was going to be able to do about it. Your comment. I am the champion. Didn't you see that? Were you a bimbo? I won. Fair. Square. I didn't beat anybody. And I'm wasting my time talking to you. We'll have more great LPAWA action coming up. to remind everyone what happened a couple of weeks back at the hands of Judy Martin, Leilani Kai, of course, orchestrated by the Sheik. Now, Shelly, first off, how is the leg? Oh, it's doing a lot better, thanks. Now, Shelly, you came out, you said you wanted it both, Judy Martin and Lonnie Kai. No one can blame you. Wally Carbo, commissioner, rightly said he would make the match, but no way could you take the two of them on alone. You didn't have a tag team partner. Has anything changed? Well, as a matter of fact, it has. I have recruited someone to help me take care of this little business. And who would that be? Rusty Thomas. Now, Rusty was a newcomer here at the LPWA, had one very su uh, successful debut, very impressive to both Sergeant Slaughter and myself. She should be quite a tag team party. Have you had the opportunity to work out together a lot? Yes, we have. We've been working out together all week at the gym, and I feel very comfortable having her as my partner. Well, next week should be uh, quite a lineup indeed. Not only was Shelly Francis now teaming with Rusty Fox against Judy Martin and Lonnie Kai, we will see the goddess, and of course, we will see two good friends of yours, Team America, Heidi Lee and Misty Blue Sims, will go after the LVWA tag team title. They are the champions. We'll put that on the line. All in all, another great week. So, if you will, for Sergeant Slaughter, Bonnie Blackstone, with us at ringside, Shelly Francis. I'm Ken Resnick saying so long, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs>